The new year is right around the corner. And so in this video, we're going to look ahead to the new year and what you can expect to see from Apple in 2022. Now, there are some pretty exciting products on the horizon, and we can start with the most obvious, the next generation iPhone. If current rumors pan out, 2022 could be the year that we get an all new display that's notch free on the iPhone. Rumors suggest that a high end version of the iPhone 14 will have a hole punch cutout for the camera and face ID components that are located underneath that display. Now we actually did an entire video on the iPhone 14 and you can check that out by clicking the card here in the upper right corner, but it's worth touching on the main aspects of the iPhone 14 again briefly, like the previously mentioned notch removal, four sizes, but this time instead of an iPhone 14 mini, users can expect to see two 6.1 inch models and two 6.7 inch max models. So presumably one model would be an iPhone 14, then we'd have an iPhone 14 Pro, and then an iPhone 14 Pro Max and an iPhone 14 just regular max model. All displays in 2022 might have 120 Hertz ProMotion technology, which for right now are reserved for the iPhone 13 Pro models. Uh, Apple might use titanium as material for some of the upcoming iPhones. And one rumor says that we could see a thicker body that allows for the elimination of the camera bump with the lenses, flash and LiDAR scanner sitting flush with the rear glass. We can definitely expect to see an updated Apple Watch. And while we didn't get any new health features with the Apple Watch Series 7, that could be changing with the Apple Watch Series 8. Apple is working on features that include blood glucose monitoring, blood pressure measurements, temperature sensing, and sleep apnea detection. Now it's not yet clear if all of these health features are coming in the Series 8, but we could at least get some of them. Temperature sensing seems most likely as it could be used for fertility and sleep tracking. Blood pressure monitoring and blood glucose monitoring are more advanced and those could take a bit more time. Car crash detection is also a possibility and it would build on fall detection features that are already available inside of the Apple Watch. Crash detection would automatically dial emergency services in the event of a crash using accelerometers and other sensors to determine if a crash actually took place. Another interesting rumor about the Apple Watch is that there could be a rugged version of the next generation Apple Watch Series 8 with the device aimed at athletes, hikers, and others who use the Apple Watch in more extreme conditions. This rugged watch should feature improved impact resistance and protection. 2021 finally brought us a new pair of AirPods, the AirPods Gen 3, and 2022 could bring us a new pair of AirPods Pro with some design changes potentially incoming on this new model. Rumors suggest Apple could perhaps do away with the stem on the earbuds with the AirPods Pro 2, featuring a more rounded shape similar to those of like the Google Pixel Buds or Samsung Galaxy Buds. Other than perspective design changes, the AirPods Pro are expected to offer all of the same features as the original AirPods Pro, though there could be unspecified fitness related improvements. We don't know yet exactly when the AirPods Pro might debut, but we could be looking at a third quarter launch of 2022. Also in 2022, we're expecting a new version of the iPhone SE. Now, early rumors about the next iPhone SE suggested that it could have a larger display, but that's no longer happening this year. Rumors indicate that the 2022 iPhone SE will feature the same design as the current iPhone SE model, which is modeled after the iPhone 8. The upcoming iPhone SE will feature a 4.7 inch display, thick top and bottom bezels, and a Touch ID home button. Though the iPhone SE will still use an older design, it will continue to appeal to those who prefer Touch ID. It is expected to include an A14 or A15 processor and a 5G modem, with Apple analyst Ming-Chi Kuo calling it the most affordable 5G iPhone available. 2022 could also bring us a new MacBook Air, which we also did an entire video on, um, you can check that out here in the upper right corner as well, but Apple plans to make the MacBook Air thinner and lighter than the current version, and it's going to adopt design elements from the 24 inch iMac. The bezels and the keyboard are expected to be an off-white color, while some of the other areas could include a rainbow of iMac-like colors. The MacBook Air could feature a mini LED display, similar to the MacBook Pro, but with no ProMotion technology. It's not yet entirely clear if there will be a notch, 
but at least one rumor says we could expect it. It's also expected to have a MacBook Pro-like keyboard with full-size function keys and a 1080p webcam. The MacBook Air is also expected to feature a next generation version of the M1 chip called the M2. Now it won't be as powerful as the M1 Pro and M1 Max chips that are used in the MacBook Pro models, but will be an upgraded version to the M1. The iMac Pro is another product that we can expect to see in 2022 and another product that we actually highlighted in its own video. But it's important to note that while the product might be called the iMac Pro, it's more or less going to be a successor to the 27 inch iMac rather than a successor to the iMac Pro released back in 2017. It's expected to feature a 27 inch mini LED display with slim black bezels and a design similar to the Pro Display XDR. The mini LED display is expected to support 120 Hertz ProMotion refresh rates. It's not a sure thing that as of yet, port wise, the new iMac will likely offer a similar port configuration to the MacBook Pro. And it's also expected to use the same M1 Pro and M1 Max chip options. The M1 Pro features up to 16 graphic cores, while the M1 Max features up to 32 graphic cores. And these chips will also be appropriate for that new iMac Pro. To differentiate the upcoming larger iMac from the 24 inch iMac, Apple may name it the iMac Pro, like I mentioned before, and Apple is planning to launch this in the spring of 2022, so it could come at a March event. And an iPad Pro update is also expected in 2022, likely with the same 11 and 12.9 inch size options and design. The 11 inch model could be updated with the same mini LED display that was introduced in the 12.9 inch model. And Apple is rumored to be including a glass back to support wireless charging. So with this new support for wireless charging, Apple could actually introduce an iPad Pro specific MagSafe charger and reverse wireless charging feature that could be enabled allowing for other devices like an iPhone or AirPods to be charged via the back of the iPad Pro. Leaker Dylan DKT has claimed that the next iPad Pro could feature a horizontal camera alignment and a landscape-oriented Apple logo on the back, a change meant to promote usage of this iPad in landscape mode instead of portrait. And lastly, we have the augmented reality headset that Apple has been rumored to be working on for quite some time now. The headset is said to look somewhat similar to Facebook's Oculus Quest virtual reality headset, but with a sleeker design that uses fabrics and lightweight materials for a more comfortable fit. It will apparently feature two 4K micro OLED displays from Sony, along with multiple sensors and more than a dozen cameras for mapping surfaces, edges, and dimensions of rooms, as well as tracking hand movements. Apple analyst Ming-Chi Kuo has said that this will use 15 optical camera modules with eight used for augmented reality experiences and another six used for innovative biometrics. Apple is working on multiple control methods, including a thimble-like device that's worn on your finger. The headset will be able to track eye movements and hand gestures, and there could also be physical controls. Apple's AR slash VR headset is expected to be pretty expensive, priced at around $3,000. Now we don't know a specific launch date as of yet, but it's said to be launching at the end of the year. So hopefully it will be at the end of 2022 in front of maybe a live audience, which I know Apple would probably really want to show this off in front of a room full of people. But of course, I would love to hear your thoughts on everything that you can expect to see from Apple in 2022 down in those comments. This has been Dan with Mac Rumors. Thanks so much for watching, and I hope to see you around in the next video.